of this. Did you know India became the second largest producer and consumer of cement in the world and we account for more than 7% of global installed capacity. With the rapid expansion of the industrial sector results in a development in construction, infrastructure and the cement sector which is expected to benefit from it vastly. So today we will be learning about this industry and how one can obtain the environmental clearance for cement plants. Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel Cobbiz. My name is Shrutigar. With the increasing demand for the cement in the future, one should evaluate the impacts on proposed or existing projects that cause environmental pollution through environmental impact assessment that is EIA reporting by following the environmental clearance process with the guidance of environmental professionals. Before knowing the EC process, we have to understand the requirement of obtaining prior EC for cement plants. Let's understand it. In some industrial projects like cement plants, information on the product, process equipments, estimated pollution load and planned mitigation measures must be ascertained during EC process. The requirement of obtaining prior EC for cement plants which is listed in item number 3b in the schedule 1 as per EIA notification 2006 it defines the categorization for the project based on the production capacity and grinding units which is falling under as category A and category B. Category A includes those projects which is having production capacity of more than or equal to 1 million tons per annum. Also, the projects handled by MOEFs and CC and EAC. Category B projects include those projects which is having a production capacity of less than 1 million tons per annum and all standalone grinding units. Also, the projects handled by CIA and SESE. Addition to this, general condition will be applied on this project. Before starting any project, preparation of land except for securing the land is stated by the project or activity such as all new projects, expansion and modernization of the existing project, any change in product mix in an existing manufacturing plant or unit. Now let's understand the process follows for obtaining EC. The process follows which is first stage is screening, second stage is scoping, Third stage is public consultation, including the process of conduct public hearing. And last and final stage is appraisal or clearance. Now we will understand how to file an application for obtaining prior AC. First, identification of site selection by the project proponent. Second, carrying out a pre-feasibility study required for obtaining prior EC for cement plants using Form 1. After the submission of Form 1 along with the PFR report and draft tour for EIA studies, the concerned authority will give the final decision after scrutinizing the documents whether the project is approved or not. What are the applicable laws and regulations required for EC? Let's have a look. The Environment Protection Act, EIA Notification 2006, Forest Clearance as per Forest Conservation Act, Wildlife Clearance Act, CRZ Rules, Hazardous Waste Rules, Public Liability Insurance Rules, Water Act 1974. Now let's understand what are the general energy required for making an EIA report, such as land document, that is land agreement or lease deed etc geotech site photographs of north south east and west direction primary data like baseline monitoring reports with photographs of air water noise and soil quality of three months secondary data showing early meteorological data by imd climatological data etc authenticated list of flora and faunal species of the study area by dfo dcf certificate map showing topography geology land classification groundwater fluctuation etc tall letter and tor compliances public hearing proceedings hydrogeological report and cgw noc if applicable power and water supply connection permission dpr quality test certificate for analysis of limestone and slag etc socioeconomic data and last NABIT accreditation certificate. Do you know how many team members engaged in EIA study? EIA study primarily depends on the constitution of right team at the right time to assess the significant impacts like direct, indirect and cumulative impacts preferably at the initial stage of obtaining EC. Environmental management professionals, cement technologists, air and noise quality analysts, occupational health and safety professionals, geologists, hydrogeologists, ecologists, transportation specialists, socio-economists. 
So if you are looking for the assistance of certified consultant that can help you with the EIA reporting to know the production process information, details of energy efficient equipment, estimated pollution load and planned air mitigation measures before taking prior AC, you can connect with our expert at Cobbiz with the details below. We help our clients with all environmental compliances related to their projects. Please like and share if you found this information useful. You can also subscribe to our channel and visit our website that is mentioned below. Thank you for watching.